Welcome everyone, I'm Matt McCoy with Headstrong, a national facing mental health treatment practice aimed at healing the hidden wounds of war in our veterans. Today we are joined on this Meeting of the Minds episode by actor David Boreanaz, who plays Jason Hayes on the SEAL Team show on CBS. David, thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me back on, I appreciate it. David, I wanted to ask you, um, you know, obviously we got a chance to talk uh, earlier last year. Um, Things have obviously changed quite a bit since then, you could say. Yeah, um, yeah, right? Yeah, right, just a little bit. Um, I'm just curious, I didn't get a, a chance to ask you originally, but I always wondered, um, you know, you've always been a big supporter of, of VSOs and, and veterans and active duty military members, and just wondering where that affinity for, for the military comes from. Did you have anybody serve or anything like that in your family, or you just always been a big supporter? Oh, my father was stationed in Panama. My uncle was um, served in the Korean War. He was POW. Um, so I do have some links to um, some service members. Obviously, my father, uh, he was an armor, yeah. armed radio network. Um, so he was on the on the other side uh, as far yeah. as no active duty concerned. Um, but, uh, you know, for me, you know, being involved with this show for going into its fourth season right now has really kind of opened my eyes and um, allowed me to see uh, all these great organizations, uh, yours included, how I could uh, yeah. effectively, you know, help and uh, reach out. And uh, it's been uh, just a very humbling experience for me uh, doing the show, as well as uh, meeting such great men and women of our, uh, our service community. No, no, we, we completely appreciate everything that, that you continue to do for us here at Headstrong. And I know you're a big supporter of not just us, but a lot of other VSOs. And I actually wanted to ask you about that, too. I know you did a, a virtual uh, meet and greet with some troops at the al Assad base uh, last year with the yeah. VSO. What, what was that like? It's great. Anytime you can get a chance to kind of go into their world and over there on their virtually um it was just a fantastic experience to talk to him about sports you know i'm a big philadelphia guy so it was great to kind of do some chirping with some people there who are <laughs> like new york fans or washington fans uh you know it kind of gets their 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 head kind of uh, uh in a better spot just to kind of keep it loose and uh talk about uh you know sports and entertainment and yeah. things like that so yeah, I really enjoyed uh, doing that tour with the USO, and I know we'll, I'll be doing some more with them uh, this year as was, well. So, uh, no, sorry, not to interrupt. I was just was that before or after they got um, uh, hit by Iran? That was before. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah. Wow. So uh, we were able to kind of just, uh, you know, touch base on uh, you know what's going on in my life, what's going on in theirs, and uh, yeah, but that was before. I know I, I've always talked to a lot of celebrities and, and people who have done those USO tours and they speak super highly of just obviously the experience and, and just getting that, that uh, ability just to, to get a day in the life of what it's like for those guys who are deployed. So uh, mm -hmm. that's really cool that you were able to do that, even if it was virtual. Um, I wanted to ask you too, I, obviously you mentioned it earlier, but you know, being on the show, the SEAL Team show, um, you know, you, you get a chance to play Jason Hayes on the show. Um, did you feel any pressure, I guess, to, uh, you know, to portray that in a sense that was accurately portrayed of, of like what the life of a, of a military uh, member is, you know, once you got that position? You know, I was, uh, we're so blessed to have people like, um, you know, uh, Tyler Gray and uh, writers that are on the show that have served or been in the community, whether it's through DevGrew or some actual SEALs that have kind of allowed me to kind of pick their brains and get into their heads a little bit there and uh, get some insight and information and in how to portray the character in regards to uh, certain situations or environments that Jason Hayes is in and uh, on the show SEAL team. So, you know, I think the pressure really is mounted by the amount of um, work that you put into it. For me, it's a, uh, it's a daily grind and something I don't take lightly. Uh, given the um, subject matter of dealing with issues like PTSD or TBI, um, a character who is so compartmentalized being a, uh, a Bravo One team leader for 20 years and how that has uh, affected him uh, outside of, uh, you know, um, being back home and, and not in active duty, um, how he's kind of, you know, acclimated back into the, to society. So, 
you know, I have to do my homework uh, on a daily basis and continue to do so um, to kind of get, to bring this character to, you know, at its peak uh, where I can keep him. So, um, you know, I think the pressure is really, I put the pressure on myself to, to get it right and uh, I do the best that I can. Uh, like you said, though, you obviously, you guys have a ton of veterans that are that are writers mm -hmm. or on the show. And I think last time I talked to somebody on your staff, that you said you guys probably employ more veterans on your guys' show than any other uh, uh, show, which obviously makes sense being that it's a, it's a mil around, centered around the military. But do you ever get a chance to, to talk to those guys and, and pick their brains about some of their experiences and what they went through? Oh, yeah, a daily basis. So regardless of even, you know, uh, certain subject matters you might be dealing with each episode, um but uh, yeah they're they're uh, and they're 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 extremely open and uh vulnerable to share that with you uh they're a great group of men and women that uh that work on our show in front of the camera behind the camera that's allowed allowed me to understand this character that i play jason hayes even better so i know tyler is a fantastic uh, resource uh, somebody who was uh you know injured uh while serving um so you know we, I, I talked to him about the physical aspect, the trauma, uh, his personal feelings on certain situations, uh, being out of the military and what it's like. So, um, just uh, he's very gracious as all of uh, the people are who work on the show. So it's it's enabled us to get the show right and um, depict it in the right way, which is that we're so also very proud of. You feel like that's been able, like you've been able to your character through those stories and, and being able to them and like really round out. Uh, Jason as a character? Of course, you know, I, you know, you, you, you know, as an actor, I, you know, I portray this character and bring to it what I need to bring to it as far as uh, my own inner conflicts uh, as an actor and, and uh, who I work with. And then on top of that, uh, working hand in hand with uh, the real men and women is a, a is quite a phenomenal a gift to have. So you enrich that, uh, their experiences and take that on and different experiences, whatever scenes we're shooting or moments that we're, you know, displaying in the show. Uh, obviously, you guys touch on mental health quite a bit uh, mm -hmm. during the show. You talk about PTSD and a lot of issues that the military members face. Um, I'm just interested, you know, is there anything that you do in, in your own time, I guess, to take care of kind of your mental health and uh, make yes. that a priority in your own life? Obviously, with COVID, it's, it's extremely difficult with things that you can and can't do, right? Uh, and I've seen that uh, right. up forefront with, uh, you know, just being able to uh, to battle, um, you know, that, uh, you know, I do as best as I can to get out, hike, walk. I, I play a lot of ice hockey. I haven't been able to get to the rink because of COVID. But, uh, you know, you have to uh, physically be active uh, to, you know, work the body, to work the mind and, you know, get the legs pumping and the blood going. So for me, it's really about being outside. Sure. I was going to ask you too, speaking of, of your character, I mean, you know how sports stars, they have sports psychologists that they kind of bring in and, and help them with the mental side of the game, anything like that? Or do you mm -hmm. work with any mental health professionals to really help you get a better sense or maybe get in character or, or whatever it is? Uh, I do not work with anyone specifically. Uh, you know, I think my brain's enough. <laughs> I could just tap into some stuff, but uh, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't work with anyone specifically in the mental health industry to understand that it's really about experiences um that i may have had <coughs> in my life that i can relate to it as best as possible as well as using the people that are on our show like tyler or or, or uh or mark um that allows me to kind of elevate this character how do you how do you get in, in touch with that like that interpersonal side of, of yourself and kind of put <coughs> that into the character do you well it's a lot of work yeah i mean i i work a lot with my acting coach who i've known for 20 years ivana chubbick so she's uh worked with me we've been together for such a long time that uh, as as bringing a character to life there's all these certain things that you you do and things that you pull from uh sense of vulnerabilities that you have with inside of yourself and uh so from there you kind of just uh let things blossom and uh, you don't be afraid of the fear, but you embrace it. And uh, it's, as an actor, it's my job to to present that as well as to excite the writers on the other end to continue to write as I write as well to enhance the character and um, and, and help produce this show so it's as real as we possibly can make it. I know you got a chance to direct uh, some of the episodes before. 
Um, what you like? Do you like doing that the best? Like, what's your favorite part of it? Is it the acting? Is it the producing? Is it the directing? I prefer all. I mean, I, I really enjoy the whole uh, process of it: producing, um, directing, writing, acting. Uh, I've learned that uh, it keeps me, um, you know, very busy and um, can compartmentalize a lot of that stuff and and bring it together. Um, and even in the acting aspect of it, um, playing a character that is so multifaceted and able to talk on comms and, and lead a team through any kind of situation is, you know, you're, you're completely separating all these aspects of, of what your, you know, focus is and, uh, finding clarity and being calm and chaos. It's all relative to, you know, what I bring to the table as far as being, uh, you know, actively outside is, you know, working out, being an athlete, um, how you prepare, all that kind of, you know, comes together and create these characters. So for me, I mean, I really enjoy the whole process of it. And um, when I'm acting and directing at the same time, it's a, it's a lot of work, but I enjoy it. And I think it's um, the challenge is always there. And um, I, I, I prefer, I, I like, I like being in that kind of environment. Is is this one of the one of your f more favorite roles that you've done? Oh yeah, I mean by far. I mean I think you you when you're in the moment with the character or a project, and in order to find whatever you're looking for, in order to you know create that that art um, is always like the best possible experience. And for me, it's the same. For me to identify for one character to another is always been kind of like a work in progress. I don't really kind of identify them as, as, um, you know, being my favorite or being my least favorite, but as far as being on a show and working together, um, you know, on a, as a team, uh, this has been just a phenomenal experience for me. And one that I, I hold very high up there as, uh, someone who I really identify with and Jason Hayes and just the character and the people that are on the show. Well, to kind of play off off that question, I guess we'll we'll hit you with what I'm gonna call a what do I call it? like maybe a fire in the hole segment where I'll just okay ask you some questions <laughs> you, and then you uh, just give me the first thing that comes to your head and and uh, and we'll go from there. All right. Okay. So speaking of just to play off that, so you said this is you know you really enjoy the role. What's your least favorite role or character that you've played? Uh, wow. <laughs> least favorite role or character that I've played um, it's a really good question I mean I did a, I guess a commercial that I was struggling with early on David Fincher directed it and uh, I was playing this kind of misfit Hollywood guy bringing in a case of beers and I kept messing my lines up and it was a disaster and couldn't quite <laughs> couldn't quite nail it so that was kind of uncomfortable yeah. in the early days I'm sure. <laughs> um, all right, to, to, to roll with that then, um, what's maybe a, a role that you passed on that you wish you had? I don't know. I don't, I don't necessarily think that that way in regards to passing or accepting. I think it's just you're, you are where you are for a reason. You use right. that energy in order to heighten and explore um, a character if you're blessed to be working in that job. So uh, from a humbling experience, I don't uh, look at things or be upset from, uh, you know, losing a character from the past because I decided not to do it. So I don't really think of that in terms of being relative. Right. right. No, that makes sense. Um, favorite actress or actor that you've uh, worked with on screen? Uh, uh, Bruce Dern was fantastic. Dennis Hopper was awesome just a true sense of um, raw emotional experience. Vera Varmiga, she was awesome to work with. Um, yeah, I mean, just, just, you know, there's so many different people that I've worked with and also in regards to guest actors that have come on, on, on shows that have become very big is just a fantastic experience across the board. But uh, I really love working with Bruce Dern. Okay, cool. Um, all right, last one. Uh, favorite hockey team, New York Rangers, yes or yes? Favorite hockey team? Come again, favorite is what? Favorite hockey team, New York Rangers, yes or yes? 
New York Rangers. No yes and yes. no and no and no. <laughs> <laughs> I think our Flyers uh, statistics right now can break that down for you a little bit better. But uh, yeah, yeah. I love hockey, as you see. I love hockey. I think it's awesome. Great sport. It's uh, something that I completely can identify with on all subjects of like when I'm directing or acting, I think it's awesome. You got to have, you know, you, you need a team to win. You can't have individuals and uh, you know, five on five play is so important. You know, power play is a power yeah. play, but five on five is where it's all at. So yeah, flyers all the way. Sorry. Smurf. I don't root for yeah. the Smurfs. <laughs> <laughs> David, I was just hoping you could maybe leave everybody who tuned in today and, and joined to listen to our conversation and just leave them with a little something uh, on your behalf. Hey, I appreciate you having me on and all those out there that are, you know, are struggling or finding some sense of, you know, understanding of how their past has kind of, uh, you know, hurt them and, and they're uncovering that. Just stay strong and know that the, that uh, your voice matters and that uh, we as as you and what you guys do is there for everyone with open doors to help them over those those bridge of difficulties. So I'm, I'm really pleased to be associated with you guys and thanks so much for having me. Yeah, absolutely, Dave. You've been a great supporter. And like I said, thank you again and uh, for coming on today and just uh, talking to everybody. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Appreciate you.